and we are live with these Boxu boxing. We're doing an unboxing for May. We just happened to see they had it available. Looked like some good stuff. Wanted to see what was in it. And we have uh, the box that arrived in the booklet. Yay. And we'll be referring to the booklet when we get these things out and, and start enjoying them. So let's let's take a look through things. It looks amazing. And we figured, as we normally do, we'd start we show with, them the box? Yeah, it comes all nice in the presentation like this, all, all arranged yeah. nicely. And let's see what we have here. And we figured we would start with some tea. Because it's kind of nice to have a steaming cup of tea and have it there. It takes a while to steep anyway. We can steep and have our thoughts, initial thought on uh, what it's like, you know, right out of the bag. It's a, it's an earthy smell for sure. And Sarah loves good matcha. It's one of those it's a, um, uh, pyramid shaped. Uh, yeah, tea bags. a satchel. Yeah. Oh, lovely! It's very grassy. It's roasted for sure. And then, yeah, nutty. nutty so and I figured I'd bring out this teacup again to do it in my, mm -hmm. my grandfather's teacup he brought back. Uh, let's see here. And last video, my wife was saying if, if anybody in Peekskill knows where this stuff went that was stolen from me, that they could contact us and we'd appreciate it for sure. Yeah. There'd definitely be a reward because it's stuff that's like real treasure. And I know we treasured it. Yeah. And uh, we miss it. We miss it. We do. Each heirloom. Yeah. But what can you do? I'm you especially know? heartbroken over it. Well, you know what? It hurt. But I like to think if it went good to homes, if it was, yeah. you know, absconded away. Um, but we'll see how it goes. You never know these things have a habit of returning to people. You know, when they're actually their stuff, you know. And you never know what could happen. Some magic could happen. A nutty, fla a nutty flavor, nutty smell. We like tea in general. We don't lean too heavily yeah, on tea, nice so it, it kind of impacts sure. us a bit more. You know, especially Sarah, she prefers it to caffeinated tea in general because she's very sensitive to caffeine. It's almost a little fishy in flavor. It does smell a little fishy, almost like a Lapsang Souchon. Which I love. Like the smoked pine needle type it's thing. It's got a little it's, sweetness, that's, too. That's that smokiness, for sure. It's got a little sweet flavor to it. Let's give it a sip. It's got, like, a sweet finish. Very, it's very delicate. It's complex, though. It's complex and delicate. There's that earthiness. Oh, it's a bit animalic, a bit. You see that with some senses. The first pick senses a bit animalic. Mm. And so let's move on to each item in the thing. Yuzu sake candy. Let's see. Uh, and Sarah's got the cat. She's bringing <laughs> the cat into the action. Why? It's not clear, but it's fine by me. One second. And it just this this that's is her birdie. that's her signature is, is scratching on the couch. So this is Daimonji. These uh birdie. Yuzu Saki candy. So let's see. Birdie's a tiger tabby and she's a rescue. She's twelve years old. But she acts like a kitten still. Well then show her that. Here, yeah. right there. That's yeah. a little bit better. Yeah, well, come on over. So let's try this Yuzu Sake candy. By Daimonji. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And they have it's a nice little pretty? compliment of it so you can share it, which is nice. You wouldn't like that. And Hokkaido oh. red bean donuts. Let's see. Burst of flavor. It's intense, this this yuzu. This yuzu is intense. It's delicious. Mm. The sake is very mild. It doesn't really come through. Almost tastes plum like. There is something like a sweet plum to it. There's a plum, a plum pear. A little bit like a plum pear, yeah. So these here, a Kaido red bean donuts from Hanma. Let's see here. Side. Yeah, well, it's tricky to open some of this stuff, actually. Okay. Finger looking good with the sweetness. There we are. Red bean donuts. Excuse my buddy. 
Thank she's you. She's a, a really good cat. She's a great companion cat. She can be very chill. She can be wild, but she can be very chill at the same yeah, time. She gets frisky like, sometimes. Yeah. She gets playful. But she can also be very cuddly, and she sleeps with me every night. Save that for later. It smells great. Wow. Let's see. She's very curious about things, new things. Why am I going to Dunkin' Donuts and get <laughs> those little, those little poppers? Only little... it's with red bean. Yeah, <laughs> it's super comforting. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. It's, it's fresh too. It is really fresh. The red bean is really good. Red bean. Oh my god. Now that is the kind of red bean I love. This red bean paste is like. They're like round donuts. The outside is almost like a Johnny cake. It's it's a little grainy, but in a comforting way, like like those tasty cakes that the um, the people over at Thomas's used to make. Well, they still make them, but oh, delicious! I never forget those in the blueberry flavor. I'm growing up, they're quite incredible. What is this? Could be anything. Could be any of the. It items. might be the uni. It could be the uni. The uni. If this is the uni, we should save it because. Let's find out. Oh, these are the mochi puffs. Mochi puffs. Let's try the mochi puffs here. Sounds good to me. Mochi puffs. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. Who makes these mochi puffs? Who does? Even the bag was puffy. Oh my. Okay, Thank these you. are hardcore. Wow. These are like. If you want these, go That's to Trader wild. Joe's and get the um, the Bambi. They're like um, almost like a peanut butter <laughs> thing going on. It almost tastes exactly like those those Bambi peanut butter uh, cheese doodles. Oh my that you goodness! See that come That's from intense. Israel. They're delicious. That's intense. Uh, it is cloud like confection, Ooh. and roasted soybean powder is where the nutty flavor comes from, which is not what I expected. It tastes a lot like peanut butter. You want another one? Else? What's Why funny not? is, no, no, I'm good for now, but what, what's funny about those is that, like, they are. Um, it, like, it's, like, pillowy, but it, and it's, like, it's dry when you first bite it, but then it melts in your mouth, kind of thing. It's incomparable with the terms of the texture, how it, it almost, like, it almost feels like one of those raccoons that, that you give it a little cotton candy, it's washing it in the water, and it, it washes it, and it disappears. <laughs> it evaporates into your mouth in a magical way, frankly. Um, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it definitely has novelty beyond the the, the Trader Joe's uh, it's intense, peanut though. butter cheese doodles. It's 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 like that from a bizarro world dimension. I'll, I'll cleanse my palate with some of this uh, dementia. Yeah. Mochi. Mochi. I hope I'm saying that Dango right. mochi. Kyoshu Seika. You can see it here. Three Cute. different flavors. And let's see. I like a mochi a lot. And you know what I used to love and they don't have it anymore and it's I, I mourn it. Oh so cute. Let's show them. Yeah, the little the, they have well, a little caricature of, of the different I don't know if you can see, but they each have a different expression. And the different the different mochi and, are different colors. Well so okay, look here. Show. Let me have a, a pink one. You have a green well yeah, you can show it up here. Yeah, like really close so they can see the colors. There you go. Mm. And you want which one? I well, want we each have, have a, a little of each. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's incredibly fresh mochi. It's really lovely. Oh my god. Mm. Do you think this is Sakura flavor? I don't think that it has a flavor. Let me try. It's just sweet. It has a pure flavor of rice. Pure it fresh does. Pure fresh rice. Yeah, they all have the same flavor. You see these fellows with the hammers, and they're taking turns with the hammers. It almost looks like something from... See, it's got a lot of powder on it. I don't know if you can One see that, but there you go. Mm. It's on my fingers. Yeah, there's definitely unflavored aside from the pure rice and the sugar they use. That's delicious. As an expression of fresh mochi, it's really lovely. That's delicious. I'm going to try the white one, too, just to make sure. Oh, no, they all have the same flavor. It's lovely mochi. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've had such fresh mochi, and that's from Japan. That's about as fresh as it gets, yeah. And that's from Japan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. It's amazing. You can 
get something shipped all the way from Japan and it's still fresh. Well, the global supply chain is awe inspiring, assuredly. I mean, that's what here we ways. have. Oh, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, <laughs> global supply chains and what they can deliver to people from across the world and how awe inspiring it is. <laughs> Figure out, I'll, I'll bring up some games that I, I, I had throughout the years. And the first one I wanted to talk about a little bit, and not at all really, is Elemental Gear Bolt. And it was a game I picked up on sale for 20 bucks back in the day over at some department store, game store. And um, it didn't sell many copies here in America, but in terms of creative artistic expression, I would say it's the high watermark. It's the apogee of rail shooters. And beyond that, the soundtrack, it's like orchestral work designed for the game, beautifully expressive. It almost reminds me of like, you know, Copeland or Prokofiev. It's theatrical in nature. It's theatrical in scope. And they even made a custom little anime with little a AMVs to go. And you can check out that game on one of my playlists. I've been making playlists for forever. Awesome. And I've been making them for my own enjoyment just to keep record of everything. And it's incredible I did, with playlists. Yeah, yeah. And I, I want to be able to share with the world, like, you know, I've had a long time – a uh, lifetime of, of enjoyment of video games, it really, and has. Uh, and that that channel world of long plays is, is awe inspiring. And seven years, these people have community effort uploading these these long plays they've done. And the first one I start off that play was with was Elemental Gear Bolt, which I think everyone, if they like a drama, if they like a fantasy, mm -hmm. they would enjoy it. What is this? And then just and then the game itself is hard to play. It's a challenge. Looks but like a matcha thing. With a video, you can just sit back and enjoy the ride. So yeah, this is a matcha stick. It's a matcha stick cake from Nakajima Taishodo. And let's see here. Let's see. Let's see what it's like here, Sarah. I'm sorry. Not at all. What a lovely smell. Yeah, the aroma's nice. I like to smell each thing before I, before I have it. It's a fudgy. Okay. It's a fudgy <laughs> texture, almost like a brownie. Mm. That's lovely. It's creamy. It's rich. It reminds me of like the texture of like I used to get this um, this pumpkin loaf at Starbucks, and it had a very similar texture. But that's true. This is such a much more delicate flavor than that. It is. It is. It's lovely. Delicious. It is absolutely perfect lovely. With, perfect with tea. This one, this one is an Taiko interesting Black one. Black Sesame. Black Sesame Taiko Kunamon design by Iwata. And apparently it's, it's a drum, a drum made out of seeds and sugar syrup. And mm. it's got a little, little bear on it. Look at him. He's about to have an adventure, it seems. He looks excited. He does look excited. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if the snack, snack cake lives up to the hype. I'm excited, too. Yeah, well, speaking of Black Sesame and how lovely it is, there was a, there's a lovely site called nuts.com and oh, I amazing. mourn I mourn the loss of uh, their mochi they had a black sesame mochi oh, that was, that so was mind boggling and I got that years ago and like there's some of the things they have you can't get much other places the butter mints with the little gel inside you get at those diners and the like yeah it's true that, that they have stuff there you can't find anywhere but else. that black sesame mochi Too was easily. like the best thing they ever had on that site and it was Ooh. like there was a limited demand for it so it didn't sell. They had to keep getting it fresh. So eventually they discontinued it. But I'm like, oh, man, what an ingredient. Now this is a great fresh probably fresh, black sesame you know, flavor. It's black sesame. If you've been craving black sesame, it really scratches that itch so well. So wonderfully well. But actually, after you've been having sweet things, the nuttiness of this is really cleansing for the palate. That's right. It is very cleansing for the palate with the nuttiness. You're right. Mm. It's a layer for sure. And so delicate, even though it's so intense. It's they're they're the geniuses with balancing that delicate and intense flavor. That's precisely there. it. Yeah, there's a harmony even though it's it's it was not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. They nailed it. You want some more? Oh, I'm gonna save mine. Mm. Thank you. It's really delicious. Um let me see here. What's the next one on the list? A triangular item. Ooh, this is the white strawberry. This is intense. We'll, we'll set this aside for a second. Yeah. Um, Good idea. What do we have here? An item of a kind. I think this might <laughs> be those those uh, 
Oh, maybe not. What could this be? Mooney Rice Trackers, perhaps? What could these be? Um, it could be these. Is it this thing over here? No, it's definitely no. not that. It's not clear. Well, it, okay, one more thing. <laughs> this one is clear. It's the Aomori Apple Caramel Yakoi Sable by Ragano Sasaki. And you can see it Beautiful there. Packaging. It's it's a humble offering for sure. It's simplicity. Let's see. I love humble I, and simple. Yeah, humble and simple are fucking the way to go. Ooh, excuse my French. <laughs> They're delightful. Anyhow, so let's see here. That's what it didn't have. That's how good this unboxing has been so far, though. He got excited. Yeah, it's true. Mm. Oh my, this is great. It's got a fantastic apple. It's like apple. a cookie. It is like a cookie. It's basically a cookie. It's like a butter cookie. Mm. It's got like um, a filling center. Yeah. And caramel is intense. It is intense. <laughs> mm. It's delicious, though. It is delicious. Oh, my God. Mm. You those potato things? Let me see here. Cuckoo, cuckoo, Thai chocolate. Let's wait. Because that is an intense flavor. <laughs> Ooh, these are interesting. The plum sticks. Let's see. Here. Oh, yeah. Stick potato. Supo mucho plum. Cool. That's an interesting thing for sure. It's that a savory. Noikea made it. Let's see. Let's see what Noikea did. Here, give that a whiff. Yeah, try it out. I mostly smell potato. Yeah, that's true. It's faint with the plum. Let's see. Let's see if the flavor is different. There's definitely... It's heavy on the sourness. And it is a sour plum. It's a pickle plum. Mm. What do you think of that, Sarah? Mm. That is sour. It is sour. It's pleasantly sour. Let's see here. This is a weird one with the iconography for sure. I'm not exactly used to that. The taiko <laughs> drum thing. Let's see here. Taiko drum. Taiko drum. We're going to be. Oh, there it is. The Don Donyaki. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Made by Kaido. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try and look at the iconography of it. These guys banging away on the drums. These are actually delicious. You just have to get used to them. It's not something that they do a lot in uh, American Snacks to have the sour component to be the principal one, but. I like it. <laughs> Tangy and peppery. It's supposed to have ton tonkatsu sauce on it. It does feel like one of those um, mochi crackers. Tonkatsu sauce is not a bad tonkatsu sauce. That's for sure. Mm. What could this be? Oh, this is that pear tart. Oh, that's lovely. It is lovely. What could this be? This is some one. <laughs> ah, this is the seaweed tempura Seitochi Sudachi Ooh. by Marunka Shoikunin. Look at that. Okay, a little clumpy guy on the bottom there. Let's see. What could this be like? It's a seaweed she sheet with with a, a shakadachi citrus. So let's see. These have a tang to them. They do, I am. Oh. It's a delightful thing though. These are great. These are very snackable. They're incredible. Pleasant smell. They remind me of those squid crackers. They were phenomenal. There was a last video that had squid crackers in it. Oh, there's like a lime going on there. It almost does taste like lime, yeah. I think this might be the uni rice cracker. 
I think you're right. I could be wrong. No, the I packaging right. doesn't match up. Made by Bucci. That would probably go well with those citrus ones. Let's see. Made by Bucci. Let's see. And they say in the booklet that they like citrus in the summer to ward off fatigue. What do you think of this, Sarah? I feel as if... Let me have some of this first. There's a very delicate flavor. I have a feeling that... Cleanse the palate. Like, you know, that's one thing with a sea urchin row is a very intense mm. flavor. And they, they step back and it's very subtle here. You can hardly detect that it's sea urchin, but you can if you've had it before. It's very faint. But oh, wow. that doesn't mean it's not good. It's very pure. Uh, let's see here. We could do... That is an intense That's flavor. Unique. I think what we need That's unique. is to cleanse our palate before we do the more delicate things is this puku puku Thai. <laughs> and so we'll try that out by Mate Mate Ooh, that is Changyo. Let's see. It's very interesting. Mate Changyo made it. They made a fish thing. That's the uni. It's a fish cracker. Oh, that's lovely. It's a, it's a lot like that other one. They, they, they make these pressed images of, of these waffle crackers. It's got chocolate mousse inside. And they go across like a fish. And let's see. It's it's a symbol of good luck in, in the New York. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Remember those little pandas? And you always use to get them? Yes. Doesn't that remind you of those little pandas? <laughs> It does, but more delicate. Oh, no. Yeah. Ah, that same... The chocolate is so puffy. Mmm. That's incredible. It's almost like those English arrow bars that you get sometimes. You see in the foreign section. Yeah, blessings. Blessings, blessings. for sure, yeah. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. That is incredible. Before I get the tail. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Um, that that apple one was especially good, I'd say. Um, let's see here. Now, the white strawberry, they claim that this is the world's first chocolate-infused strawberry. There's a lot of chocolate dip strawberries right. out there. I'm sure they do something different. These are harvested, freeze-dried, and infused with white chocolate. And they're made by Boxu itself. So let's see. Ooh. And they're probably Japanese strawberries too, which as you know, sell for a premium. Because this, oh. Wow. Whoa, look at that. Check that one That's out. That's impressive. And, wow. It seems like a gimmick. It totally seems like a gimmick. Until you try it. They should give these to the astronauts as a reward. They're they're freeze-dried like the astronaut wow. food is, but then they pump it full of white chocolate in a way that it truly is infused. It's impressive. It's impressive. That's it's nice amazing. That they, it's nice that they give you two of them. That's it's delicious. Incredible. It really is incredible. Congratulations, Boxer. You've done something remarkable. I've never had anything like no this. No doubt. Before. You've done something remarkable. Wow. 20th century hair language shot from Kodobuki Seka. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. It's got a luxurious blend of 20th century Asian pear uh, and rich cheese, definitely white chocolate. It's a perfect way to. To end this unboxing before we do a couple more remembrances, but look at this. <laughs> Pardon me. The the packaging is discreet. You wouldn't. It almost looks like for like the hand wipes that you go and get the restaurant, <laughs> but very fancy hand wipes. Um, it almost looks like a s'more or something. It's elegant simplicity, assuredly. Let's do that. Have fun with it. Okay. There you go, Sarah. Thank you. Ooh, it's most sweet. Let's 
Mm. Milky. It's definitely, it's heavy on the milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. The pear and the cheese are noticeable, but mm. they're not the star. I, the, the white chocolate is good white chocolate, so it mm -hmm. works. Delicious. The cracker is dry. That's intentional. The creaminess of the filling, perfect for it. What is this one? This is those um, oh. soybean powder roasted puffs. And if you want one of those, another, go for it. It's kind of um, nice to remark little, upon it. It's a little dry. Upon a second kind of remembrance of it. Too dry for me after... after and speaking of, right now, uh, but speaking of remarking you. upon something, upon a second remembrance of it, we have here one of those little plum gel snacks from the Sakurako video. And I figured we'd open it up and remember it and enjoy it just as it was then because they sent two of them. It's nice to oh, link lovely. the videos together. And it is lovely. And I remember mentioning no one can stop Mr. Domino. No one can stop Mr. Domino. And so, yeah, I love that as a child. I, you can go at some mm -hmm. world of long plays, as all these different videos are. And so let's, it's got the little, the tiny little confectioner treats on it. Ooh! And it's like a Kit Kat. You split in half, you share it. Mm. These ones, this one is even fresher than the other one. It just seems fresher. Mmm. We just had a bunch of fresh stuff, so. Mm. The plum gel is subtle. It's a very strange texture surrounding the plum gel. It's unusual. Mm. It's delightful, though. It is delightful. It reminds me of that fish. I don't like a spongy, spongy interest. So anyhow. Let's do one more with the Sakura from the Sakura Co. Why not have it on camera and enjoy it mm -hmm. as like kind of like we have a cherry blossom tree right outside yes. here. It's in full bloom. It's kind of nice, you know, having the cherry blossom trees outside. Oh, there's so many of them here. It's beautiful. All the cherry blossom trees around here. Well, all the trees, the aspen trees, the elm trees, the birch trees, hey, all bird. a different one. Birdie, hey, Bree wants to say hello. <laughs> mm. I'm very curious about all this stuff. Yeah, I'm over. It's not very strong with you. That's the curl flavor in that little, little gummy. But it is delicious. Mm. It even faint. It comes through. And the cat. <laughs> the artistry of it all is all deeply appreciated for sure. It just reminds me of all these other things I've encountered in life that link to it. But as much as I would love to talk more and more about some of the other things I have here, you know, interesting Japanese culture I've encountered throughout the years on my Dreamcast, playing Jet Set Radio mm -hmm. okay. and Shenmue mm -hmm. and all these other crazy games. Virtual Lawn. I don't know if you guys know about Virtual Lawn, but Virtual Lawn and Kelowna and all these amazing games you can find on the playlist. And we're about to put together a fantastic playlist of all the J-pop we've enjoyed throughout the years. And it's going to be heavy on the 80s stuff because I feel as if, you know, in terms of Japanese electronic music, that was like the height of creative expression almost. You know, people had the freedom, the largesse, the resources to do, create these amazing things that could have never existed before these electronic instruments were invented in that country. So it's so marvelous. I look forward to joining you for many more remembrances. We figured we'd add a little, you know, I remember going to Suncoast and getting Ron on cassette, <laughs> Akira Kurosawa's version of King Lear. At the Jefferson Valley Mall in At York the Town Jefferson Heights Valley Mall, we both New York. went to this Suncoast, and we have such fond remembrance <laughs> of it. But before we even knew each other. Yeah, before we even knew each other, we went to the same Suncoast. It's <laughs> kind of cool. Anyhow, we'll leave you with all that joy and marvel. Do you want to try just another second gasp, gasp at any of these oh, items? What about Yammy? Oh, Yammy. Do you want to bring up Yammy? Yes. Yeah, go and get Yammy. We had a yam. Actually, it's a sweet potato. For the longest time. And much like the game Ikaruga, it was an unappreciated hit. It's a sweet potato. And <laughs> It's a sweet potato. Look and what he did. You can see it little, the, little, the little veins came out of it. 
Look at that. To, to drink up. We have a plant now. We had that. We had this yam for months and months. Bef we had it. We had it around November of last year, and it started springing all these leaves out. And then we started to put it in a mason jar so it could get a little fuel to continue growing. And the leaves on this have just blossomed, and it's it's been months and months. It's quite, it's quite, <laughs> we called it our Christmas yam around Christmas yeah, time. Yeah, yammy the Christmas yam. Yammy the Christmas yam. Yes. Love you, yammy. Yeah, we love our yam. And he sits in a point of pride on our, our cat tree atop it, much like an angel would sit atop a Christmas tree, perhaps. We know he's a, a sweet potato, but we still like to call him a yam. We do know he's a sweet potato, but we still like to call him a better. yam. It's true. It just and sounds so with better. And so with the youthful <laughs> crunch... I mean, she crunches something too. Same thing. The black sesame stuff is incredible. I encourage you to go to the Japanese supermarket and get yourself H Mart too, Green Supermarket. They have a black sesame ice cream. Quite incredible. That was we went back to um, and nuts.com. If you're ever listening, bring back your your black sesame mochi because it was the most incredible thing in the world. Please. And um, in, in, in Westchester County, H Mart, if you live in Westchester County, go to H Mart. It's that's wonderful. true. And Elmsford is incredible. Anyhow, well, we'll leave you to it. Thank you for spending the time joining us for to share in our memory. And we look forward to sharing many more memories with you going forward. Creations. We're working on stories. We're working on art, all sorts of incredible things for proper and prosper. So we hope you'll join us for many more joyous occasions. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Happy spring. Happy spring. <laughs> that was great. <laughs>